vote and affinity photo video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. This tutorial I'm just going to show you how you can copy custom shapes into affinity photo via PSD format. Now first thing to do, just going to go over to the custom shape tool and select the shape option. Just go over here to the shapes. So you've got a whole range of different shapes and these ones are available on the Graphic Extras website. But of course you could use any other custom shape as well. So just select one of those and just drag there. They're all vector designs, so they can be any size, you don't have to actually make them that big. So just drag that one there, select, you could select all of them. And then another one there. So you could actually have the entire custom shape set as a PSD document. They're all vector layers, so next thing to do, once you've actually done that, obviously I could have gone through all the rest, but let's just go to a file. Save as, and just I'm going to select that PSD file there, one .psd, and the key thing here is layers. So save, place. Now, just go to Affinity, and once you're in Affinity, just go to File and Open. PSD file, open. Now, just go over here to the Move tool. Just select that. Double click. And then you can access, and you can do the same with all the others then. Just click on there. And of course, once you've got that, you can actually access them and move them around, change them in many different ways. So you don't have to sort of keep the original design unless you want to, of course. Now, if you say you want to go over here, just I'm just going to select that one and select the whole lot. Control X. Then just go to another. And just drag that there. And there you have it. You've got the vector design, just one obviously. And then of course you can do manipulate it with numerous filters as well as maybe adding colour effects, gradients, etc. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you very much.